The bow is meant to find the ring. Hello, everybody. I'm Double. Welcome to Age of the Ring Cast. We are back in sunny Tarnost for a 2v2. Now, I've casted a lot of replays recently, and I haven't uploaded any of them because they've all started amazingly. And they've turned into absolute shit shows. Even by my standards, they were bad. So, 17th time's a charm. I'm hoping this game's good. In the top right, don't be Pumba, don't be Pumba, don't be Pumba. It's a Lorien. It's, it's Dronza. Polska Gurom. And look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Barrack start with the Swordsman. Oh, man. Mind-blowing strats right now. Okay, his teammate is a Rohan. And it's Durin, literally me, for real, for real, not really. And opposite, oh god, it's two Lorians, and it's your T. Well, I mean, I've seen worse names, maybe not really, but yeah. And to finish it all off, we've got a Doggledore, and it's some kid named Orom. I think that's meant to be Orome, the Great Huntsman. Well, he's not playing Willow Realm, but I mean, Doggledore's technically in uh, Mirkwood, so maybe, may maybe, maybe still counts. So while both teams are getting started, I thought I'd ask you guys a question. I do have a replay that's on a map that I hate, but it features only Adventure Factions. I'm not sure what everyone thinks about Adventure Factions. I, for one, think they're great. I think they're really fun, bite-sized little uh, factions with just a lot of, you know, fun aspects to them. They're not meant to be comprehensive. They're just fun little things that you can uh, try out. And... Um, yeah, so I have a 3v3 featuring only Adventure Factions. So if you guys are interested in me casting that, even though it's on a map that I actually really hate, uh, let me know in the comments. Just comment like uh, Adventure Pog or uh, Yes Please or just something that lets me know. Alright, Drons are on the offensive here. Double Barracks, a little slow if he's just getting his second one out now. Tower presumably coming up as well. Pro tip, always stealth through towers and trees. They gave you that ability, use it. Now he's hitting the Doggle Dog fast. A far cry from Old Lauren, where they used to be really slow. And, um. Usually, Broken Rabble are the ones that are meant to be on the offensive because you just keep your enemy occupied by the cheapest infantry in the game. And then, while they're defending, then you can just turtle up and get car gassed and all that. But they're being forced on the defense at the moment. They popped Carnage, which probably why they killed so many elves there. And, um. Yeah, he's just running away, because uh, if he gets too close to that carnage, he's just going to die. So you can't garrison Doggledore Towers anymore. But that's fine. You can still pay the 200 to get the Arrow Tower, which... Eh, it's kind of annoying, but it sort of makes it the same cost as a regular tower. And a successful defense so far. Let's have a look how Durin's doing. Auxiliary camp has been captured. Veterans of Askeliath. I mean, I've been singing their praises ever since 8.0 dropped and we keep seeing them. So we've got Rohan Spearman. Rohan Scout Meadow is out. The stun has been used by, uh, what was his name? Was it Yurti? Yurti? We'll just call him Yuri. Fuck it. He's Russian now. He's, he's, the, he's the bad guy from Red Alert. Yeah, he's Yuri now. Alright, double barracks plus stables. No archery range. No peasants and a well. What was he scared of that he didn't go Peasant Start versus Lorien? Did he really think he was going to go Riders of the Ninth, really? I think Peasant Spam is your best bet against Lorien. I mean, I think those Peasants with their Draft just tank all this for days. Alright, Veterans of Skiliath. Now he's in real shit. Okay, he did go Cav. But there's only one of them. Peasant Start would have been ideal here, Durin. Oh no. What's he queuing up? Oh, we need upgrading. Okay, he needs some help big time. The well is going down. He probably got no value out of that. I mean, he got a few ticks on the windmill, but that's about it. Okay, and now uh, Doggledore's making a big push. See, this is the strat with Doggledore. You basically um, attack with really cheap units, and then you get the Spire out. And that's exactly what he's doing. Do I know this game or do I know? You don't know, Rudel. You're fucking stupid. You know what? That's fair. All right, Elfhelm start. I know Duran said he likes Elfhelm. He doesn't get why people hate him. Well, chance to prove me wrong. They were Dread Gang all the way or El or Aowin, but he's going with Elfhelm. All right, he doesn't have rebuild. We know this. Veteran number two is out. These spearmen are going to do bugger all. Let's see what he's got. Let's see what he's got. I mean, Elfhelm's just poking a few guys. There's Elven Horn, so he's got double tier, tier ones. He's... 
didn't really need to do that, but I guess he uh, wants to keep the initiative in his favor, so he went with a bit of a damage boost there. Risen Dead are out already. Level 3 Swordsmen are getting cut down, but there are others to pick up the uh, slack. And they both have the auxiliary camps, the bottom team, I mean, because they've got Harondor Swordsmen as well, so... Literally the two units we always see. Okay, hold up. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen is here. He's going for the Glaive upgrade. How much do they cost, by the way, from the Sanctum? 450. The Sanctum itself is very, very um, expensive. Okay, he's got Rumel. Very nice. A bit of free damage. And now they got the Glaive. So they buff Galadriel, or is it the other way around? No, they do. They buff Galadriel. That makes more sense. And yep, Risen Dead Counter is the Handmaiden. Expensive and difficult to keep going. That was a bit of a waste that he lost that. That was kind of annoying. But yeah, well done, Handmaidens. Alright, so he did get the second barracks and he did get the windmill. Basically beating Durin to a pulp at the moment. And he's going back in. He wants to keep that initiative going. Lots of cavalry, actually. No, it's just two. And yeah, Durin just can't do anything. Now, he needs to be careful here. If I was uh, Yuri, I would literally stun Elfhelm here. And just immediately go in, because you do have level 5 spears. Alright, the stun. That's uh, from Dranza, because it was on Dogledor. We've got the lantern upgrade, which is incredibly effective. There. These guys aren't meant to be feared. Oh no, wait, they're, risen. they're not risen dead yet. Okay, if risen dead, that wouldn't have worked, right? And that's double handmaidens, I just realized. Both with glaives. They get their Gleam of Nenya, which doesn't really do much damage, it's more for knockback. Alright, this could be a mistake here. Okay, the archers are focusing handmaidens. And Elfhelm literally is just being the annoying guy who could. And then just runs away like a little bitch. You have a stun, not sure why I used it. Okay, Durin. You've been going to the School of Excelsior again, haven't you? How the hell did you get your face caved in and then get Aoma? Someone explain to me how. You know what? You've been battered. I will fully understand if you go for the war crime. I know I'm usually against Tree Singer deaths, but... I don't know. He's been pushed to his limit here. And Aoma already with his scavenger ability. And actually, Elfhelm level 6. I mean, I think that was Yuri's fault, man. He had the stun. He didn't use it. And then... He just went for the cave troll there when he should have just kept on going. His army was like... I think he lost maybe one battalion in that entire attack. It was weird how he didn't keep going there. If he if he if he lives to rue the day, then he's only got himself to blame. Yeah, now he's in trouble because now I mean now he can go for Kingsguard if he really wanted to be warring. Okay, he's not. Alright, Carnage and lots of risen dead. Level three. They had the gleam of Nenya. I would love to see it, because it's like mini Starry Light. But you don't really need to do it. Oh, we did it! Yes, as I said, doesn't do much damage, but it does. It has a knockback. So, if you want to disorient the enemy or close the dis, or at least stop them from attacking you while you close the distance, then that could be really good. And they also buff nearby infantry, by the way. Nearby melee units gain five percent attack damage. I mean, that's really good. Like, if 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 uh, Uzba Duel are all about buffing your armor and your heroes, then Handmaidens are all about buffing your damage and your heroes. Sort of like a polar opposite. Alright, credit to Yuri. He's not being boring either. He's gone for Amroth and Durian, which I don't believe are worth the money. I don't they're like a thousand now, right? Yeah, one thousand and one hundred CP. Well I mean maybe. They do have some neat abilities, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay, Entwife is out. We do see some harbingers. He's got two with a third one on the way. Almost tier 2 for Yuri here. There goes the Elven Horn. I mean, there's like two, three spears and there needs to watch out. There goes the stun, hits the archers. Beautifully done, Yuri. Nice double team there, actually. Archers go down in seconds. He misses his own stun. That's unlucky, Dranza. And they don't only graze the spears there, so they're largely intact. He could use Gleam of Nenya on the cavalry. Maybe use it on a Harbinger. Okay, that's kind of weird. Alright, now Durin with the rapid response unit. Gleam of Nenya. Dude, he's just firing fucking beams out of his... I, I said you don't have to do it. He's done it three times now. Alright, level four. Level four handmaiden. 
Healing out of combat, of course. It's a fucking elf. What else did you expect? Cannot be ours to bear. I'm from Downton Abbey. Ah, oh, yeah, that's just what I thought of. Level 5 handmaiden. Level 4. You know what would be really funny in a team game? I mean, it, it might take a while to set up, but like... If you do Imrahil Inspiration with a handmaiden... Probably one swing they go to level 5, I and mean, that's actually kind of funny. There goes the speed... Uh, spear... Spear? Spear? I don't know why I pronounce it like that. Spear throw. A few cheeky kills there. I think you can keep farming these Risen Dead, man. I'm not sure why he kept doing that. Cavalry are... Strong against Risen Dead, and these handmaidens are doing really well. He's gonna have to change up his strat. He's gonna have to get Kamul and some Tomb Guard. And start just moving as like a giant block. Alright, tier 2 now for Yuri. Um, sort of backed off after that initial success. And, um, yeah, sort of... Maybe he just wants Doggledore to back off, which he should be doing. I don't know why he's going in again. And I'm pretty sure Durin... I mean, he could probably charge into that and still survive. I mean, they're just spearmen. I mean, they're just, um... Orc. Whatever the fuck they're called. Okay. Man, I like the model for the uh, green pasture. Little horsies. It's cute. Alright, do we have a forge out? We do see. have a forge. Well, if he wants to go back in, heavy armor wouldn't hurt. Again, to stop this Rohan player, you're gonna have to wait for him to make a little bit of a mistake. Just a hint of an overextension. And then Lorien's done. Alright, guess the Lorien has been used. I think he's used it on Halder. So he should have knockback resist when he activates that ability. Which, obviously, against a cavalry-centric unit is gonna be really useful. And let's see what Drons has got. Wait, did... Did they both go Gifts of Lauren? Oh, I think they did. Did he use it on Rumel? You little bitch, Dranza. Paul's got Gurom, but what the, the hell? Shines upon, you. Uh, shines upon you. I make fun of it, but I actually really like it. Oh my god, Kellerborn's on the field too! With Triple Handmaiden! Come on, this one needs to get level 5. Come on. No, that's a fucking Orifin, idiot. Oh, we're so close. Gleam of Nenya, let's go. Magic Missiles, let's go! Get that green mist out of here. I hear Elven Horn in the background. I hear the stun. Yeah, trample my archers. They can't unhand made in your army. No, they did! She died! What timing! No, 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 no. Please, please, no. Where one handmaiden fell, another shall take its place. Man, Amroth and Durin are still level one. I'm just saying, that's kind of... That's kind of bad. Wait, Rumel died? Oh my god, he lost the Rumel as well! Wow, Cheeky Risen dead there. I'm surprised he actually got in there. I think the elves sort of fucked up his plans there. Okay, Theoden is out now. There goes Strength Remembered. Now, he can't trample these. These are Spearmen. Yep, mistake. Mistake there, Arome. Big mistake. See, when, when you're stuck as Rohan, this is when you need to stack leaderships, because the armor buff that Theoden gives you on these Kingsguard... Yeah. Give them Forge Blades as well, and you're basically golden. Alright, he did lose a uh, rumor, which is a bit sad, because he could have stunned any hero in there for 10 seconds. And he's replacing his handmaidens over the heroes, so, uh... Yeah, shows how much he favors those. It would be nice to have seen Galadriel instead of Celeborn, since they are the handmaidens of Galadriel, but... I suppose we can't get everything we want. Alright, heavy armor for Galathrim now. And I think I've... Um, vindicated in my condemnation of the uh, Amroth Andirian. They got a few good tramples and they didn't even level up. Cost a thousand. A hundred CP, man. And look at this. Level five, dude. Level five on these boys. Plus, you could do promotion on them as well. Give them perma damage. Alright, he did go for Kamul in the end. Does anyone else think that Theoden should give fear resist? I mean, a king on the front lines is a pretty, bit of a big deal. Alright, Kamul is definitely in trouble here. If these handmaidens decide to turn around, they're definitely in trouble. It's odd the cavalry never focused the handmaidens. I feel like that would just be an easy target. There's four of them! Holy shit! He's got four! I love the fact that he has been using Gleam of Nenya. I'm just going to point that out. Alright, that's Air the Sun Rises, right? It was. 
Not sure why he used it there. Maybe he thought Johnza was at risk of losing the Second handmaidens. The mark, but it's best to, like best to combo that stun with a cap charge. Alright, big Urky boy is here. Not sure why, but fuck it. Ah, the Helmingus warriors are here. Okay, now that should be... Now that will really put the pressure on. Yuri's going to have to get some Karen Amroth or something big to deal with them. It's hard for me to give, like, a lot of advice about Doggledore because I'm terrible with Doggledore, but I'm not sure Harbingers are going to be the best uh, value here. Maybe they're good against Handmaidens. Maybe that's... Maybe they'd be good against them, but we haven't really seen that so far. The Handmaidens have really only suffered one loss this battle. Alright, that was the stun from, from Dranza. Kamul is just getting cut down now by an army of handmaidens. He escapes with barely any HP. There's no ranged unit to finish the job. Man, imagine, ma imagine if he had killed Kamul with Gleam of Men. Yeah, that would have just been icing on the cake here. Alright, helming us around. That was the sound by there. Yeah, Risen Dead's gonna do nothing. Just free power points for these handmaidens. Level 5, level 5. Soon to be level 5. Level 3. Level 1. <laughs> it's just handmaidens everywhere, man. Honestly, this might trick people into thinking they're god tier. I think this is just Risen Dead feeding Rary uh, foolishly. Man, I, I love their glaives, though. Right 300 money well spent. Right Alright, he's gone with the Hidden Sanctum buff, so... This one... It gives you less experience, but bonus attack range, vision, immunity, terror. And this one is incredibly good. For 10% movement reduction, you get better auto heal, plus 50 health, and reflect damage. I mean, it's amazing. You can cast it globally. Affects more than one battalion. Yeah. Armor of Doriath. I mean, Doriath is a first stage place, right? It was in Beleriand, I'm pretty sure, so... It makes sense that it's uh, stronger than the rest. Alright, Dronza does have the Eagles. Rumel is back. Kamul is definitely buggered if he sees him. Hold on. I'm not sure what that effect was. Rohan's coming. Yuri's also here. Armies collide. Needs to watch out. Lots of Karen Amroth there. And again, if he had got some Tomb Guard, I don't think the Handmaidens could do anything to Tomb Guard. I'm pretty sure it'd be a giant waste of time. And even Caliborn would uh, struggle a little bit, so... Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, Durin's going in. He just sent a few units to uh, help Dranza. Hmm, I think he could have kept on going. Actually, maybe not. No, he did the right choice. Or he made the right choice. The Mighty Helmingus. Mark of Helm. Incredible ability. Alright, they're gonna double team Dura now? Is that is that the plan? Galadriel's too busy for this shit. Why, why, why send her own forces out when she can just send her handmaidens? That's the head cannon I'm going with this game. We are the handmaidens of Galadriel. Yep, what did I say? What did I say? <laughs> Alright, eagles are here. No range here, they're all here. How much damage do they do to the Entwives? Oh, well, there you go. All right, there goes the stun. Malon bows are hitting the eagles, but that means they're not hitting the front line here, and they can just mop up. There goes the uh, buff from Elfhelm. Pray shields, point your spears, and prepare for war. I don't want to be the smartass, but did they have to say point your spears? <laughs> point your spears. It's like, no, I'm just gonna hold it upright. Don't worry about it. I know what I'm doing. And that is Celeborn Summon. And that's Helmingus. Immune to arrows, but not spears. That was a bit of a costly charge. Don't worry, they follow their king. Riders of Snowborn are here as well, based. Second eagle goes down. But I think most of the Yuri's elves are dead, and those Endwives are definitely gone. So now, these dismounted kings got level 5. Yeah, they can just keep going. Sentinels of Karen Amroth will protect this land. Oh, he's got he's got Amroth and Durin. Don't worry about it, boys. Game over. 
Dogledor is hitting over here. But... Really? They're gonna pull back? I think they can finish it here. They had, I mean, they had freaking Aoma running around like a madman. Alright, now now you counter-attack on him, right? Come on, Darren. Darren, you're letting him level up! God damn it. I don't care what you smell. Go and... There we go. That's the damage I'm talking about. Now finish him. There it is, man. Giving him all those free kills. Alright, one of the Westworld did come in. Mind if I just get money for killing your buildings? Yeah, that's that sounds fair. That's Spears! Uh, I think he's gonna have to learn that Dismounted King's Guard counter Spears. We are the handmaidens of Galadriel. Kinda feel sorry for Arome. He's clearly not Oh, he's got tier three actually. And I don't think is Abomination actually gonna do anything here. Tank of the Spears pretty well. Laughing way longer than I thought. Did they make did this? Did they make this guy stronger? Eight thousand health. Christ Almighty, that's epic value. Actually, that is really good value. That fucking gleam! I swear to God, he's done it so many times. <laughs> All right, now Necromancer's turn to feed. Oh, he knocks back handmaidens. There goes a stun from Rumil, point blank range. Will his Risen Dead be able to save him in time? Lol. <laughs> Good joke, Rude Devil. Will, <laughs> will Risen Dead be able to save him? That's, oh man, you're so funny. Subscribe. That's so funny. That's, that's my new thing. I'm just going to drop the word subscribe every now and then when you least expect it. So that's subliminal messaging. Okay, yeah, they're way far ahead now. He just lost Faction Hero. He lost Kamul. He got good value with the tier 3, but that's GG, and that's well played, I'm pretty sure, from the top team. I like the strats. I, I think Yuri could have won it very early on. I think Durin's opener was non-existent. I think Yale and Spearman were completely the wrong idea, but he was just given a lifeline, and yeah, he's flourished since then. Case in point, level 5 Helmingus. Maybe they've got something. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I mean, he might get his own eagle summon. But yeah, I think this game's done and dusted, boys and girls. I'm just gonna wait for that Rohan tier 4. He's six points away. I, actually, Yuri's not done yet. He has gone for Galadriel as the Hail Mary. Idriel on the field now. And let me just check if that room will stuns back. Yeah, of course it. Oh, yeah, almost back. Like five seconds. Like five seconds. How about... Here about a gear fact, mate. Okay, yeah. This game's done. Alright, Rohan forming up. They've been promotion... Promoted, sorry. Lucky bastard. Promoted us. Mother will be pleased. This company of heroes. And they're both going in. Surely Durin just goes in on Dorgledore. Surely you just double team. And if Lauren comes over, so be it. Who gives a fuck? We've got the heroes. We've got the upgrades. Okay, I was just checking. Because... Yes. Yes. People are respecting the tree singer neutrality laws. Yes. Okay. It's fine. When In the beginning when he was losing, then it was a different story. But now that he's clearly won... Let's not, let's not ruin it, okay? Alright, this is gonna be their last stand. You got two level 5 handmaidens. I mean, there's more handmaidens in there, but two level 5s. Sylvan summon. There goes the gleam of Nenya business. Carnage isn't gonna do much, they've all ri- I mean, they're fucked now. They're absolutely fucked. There goes the level 10 Caliborn summon, holy shit! And that's a demolition. I mean, you just summon sentinels, right? Why was Thrain in there? Oh my god. Okay, Dismounted Kingsguard just charging the front line there. He's moving spears around to perfect the flank. How Mingus didn't get the buff there. That's strange. Do they not count as Cav, even though they're mounted? No, that's strange. But, eh, glorious charge is glorious charge. Wait, is that... 
How many people are chasing Galadriel? <laughs> oh no, that was Eowyn. Where the fuck was Galadriel? <laughs> Sorry, that looked like Galadriel for a second. And there's the Rohan tier 4. Maybe she was never in there. Maybe I was just looking at Galadriel that whole fucking time. <laughs> Sorry. It looked like Galadriel. They wear the same clothes. They got the same color hair. What do you want from me? <laughs> Ah, uh, Galadriel, yes. Mistaken for a shield maiden of Rohan. Truly the be the the <laughs> Truly the best of times. And Necromancer came out just to die again. <laughs> Fucking based. Anyway, that was a that was a pretty lively 2v2. Um yeah, solid opener from the bottom team, but uh yeah, just that doggle door just enjoyed uh, feeding those handmaidens way too much. It was uh, only ever going to go one way after that. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, think about that adventure map. Be sure to like and subscribe. Until the next time, peace out. <gasps> Goodbye.